Hello everybody, welcome to the series on what was happening in the business world when you were sleeping last night. Well, Micron Technologies, one of the leading companies in the semiconductor space, has announced that it is reducing its production capacity on the advanced microchips, aka semiconductors. I made a video earlier this week where I pointed out that TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, another leading semiconductor company, is actually planning to increase its production capacity by opening a factory in Arizona, US. Now, these are contradictory news pieces. In the same industry, while one company is planning to increase its capacity, the other company is cutting down on its capacity. Well, why is this happening, right? Take a pause, think about it, and before you continue to watch the video, why don't you put down your thoughts in the comments box? Well, let's just continue now. The answer lies in this particular chart. This chart it indicates the total revenues of the semiconductor industry year over year from 1996 to 2021. The blue line which indicates the revenues has seen an upward trend. Yes, there were a few falls once in a while, but the overall trend is quite upwards. And the trend is expected to continue for the next 10 years. The current industry size $550 billion per year is expected to hit almost a trillion dollars per year by 2030-2031. On the other hand, the red line indicates the percentage change in the overall sales, which notes that there are three years where there was a huge drop in the sales of semiconductors, one in 2001, the second one 2009, and the third one in 2020, the huge drops in the red line. This is because of the recession and the crisis in these three years the dot-com bubble, the financial crisis in 2008, and the pandemic in 2020. Now, what does this indicate? This indicates that overall the revenues are increasing, but in a few years, you see a massive dip in revenues because of the recession. And this is called as a cyclicality pattern. Cyclical industries where which go upwards when the revenues are good and they do really bad when the recession is on. Now, this industry is exactly following the same pattern while TSMC is sticking to the blue line pattern where the overall trend is continuing to grow. So I want to increase my production in the next 10 years and that's the reason why I'm betting on building new factories. Micron Technologies on the other hand is betting on the red line and saying that there is a recession going to happen in 2023. So you will see a drop in the red line once again and hence adjusting the production capacity. So one company acting and the news coming out is for the short term adjustments and the other news is related to the long term plan, hence the differences. The other thing which you also need to observe is that Taiwan where 70% of the world's semiconductors are manufactured today is a sticky point between the US and China relationships. Hence, US wants to make sure that it reduces its dependency on the Taiwan landscape for semiconductor manufacturing and started providing subsidies for folks to open semiconductor manufacturing plants in the US. That's the Chip and Science Act, which was coming into the laws earlier this year. Hence, TSMC wants to take advantage of this particular loan subsidies, tax exemptions, so on and so forth and kicking off its factory expansion plans in Arizona, US in the next three to four years. Hence the other news as well. So you can see that companies are not just betting for what's happening in the next six months to one year, but companies are also changing their behavior based on what's happening in the geopolitical space at the same time. I hope this gives you a good understanding of how one of the leading technology industries in the world right now, that's the semiconductor industry, is interlinked between the geopolitical space and the technology advancements at the same time. Hope this video is helpful guys. Please do let me know in the comments box if you like this particular pattern of reading through the news based on a chart and I'll continue to make more such videos. Take care guys. See you. Bye bye.